Side by side with this folk art is the new and zealous emphasis on education. Lima's University of San Marcos has a glorious history. Founded in 1551, it is nearly a century older than any university in the United States. For more than 300 years after its founding, attendance at the university was a prerogative of the rich. Today, young men and young women, too, from the less privileged groups are coming to San Marcos for inexpensive education. Not in the traditional academic courses, so much as in engineering, industrial chemistry, medicine. A few old customs still prevail. For instance, the oral examinations held in the chapel, where in the old days the monks who founded San Marcos worshipped. student draws a numbered slip from an urn, thus selecting by lot the questions to be asked. The committee of professors is kind but firm, and the examinations are as nerve-wracking as examinations usually are. These are serious young people, these students from Peru's increasingly significant middle class. They feel, more than most students, responsibility in the working out of their country's destiny. They believe that this new Lima, which will belong to them, must at least in part be built by them. And in the colonnaded courtyards of San Marcos, they walk and study and dream, as young people have done in university courtyards since first they were built. Steeped in history, they have always been. This their home city is no ordinary place.